Now, you've had a lot of kitchens over the years. The I've good, the bad, and the ugly. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard you talk on TV about how, cooking on a campfire. I, I know did. you've done that. I did. Um, what are some of the things you've learned from the kitchens you've had over the years that maybe we see in this kitchen today? I think the most important thing is that the workspace isn't too big, that it's a, a space that you can actually handle easily. And the thing I think that people do wrong the most is that the workspace is out of the traffic area. So if you're going from, say, in my house, the dining room, to the outside in the garden, you walk through the kitchen, but not through my workspace. Mm -hmm. So that if there are people, you know, kids and dogs and friends and running back and forth, they're not, run, they're not in, underfoot when I'm working. But I know you love to have people in the kitchen with you. And I do. You love to work with people. But I love that there, there are seats on the other side of the counter. There are stools there. Everybody mm -hmm. can hang out there. They can hang out at the table. But my workspace between the counter and the back, the, the island and the back counter, are sort of sacrosanct. Nobody moves around in there. Unless, so, of course, they're cooking with me, which <laughs> never happens. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great detail for someone to know. What are some of the things you'd like people to learn from this kitchen? Some of, some of the things in this kitchen um, that you have in your own kitchen and um, that you really think everyone could benefit from. Like two dishwashers. I notice you have two dishwashers. I have two dishwashers because all the time I don't use it, but when I'm having a party, I could use four dishwashers. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, it's, it's a really important thing to me. And for a few hundred dollars, you can buy a dishwasher and it's frankly cheaper than the cabinets. Mm -hmm. So it's a really useful thing to have. Um, it sounds like such an extravagance, but it's, it's, not. it's not. Yeah, it's really not. Another thing I have in the kitchen is where the plates and the glasses are stored are not on the same side as the dishwashers. They're opposite the dishwashers. So all I have to do is unload the dishwasher, turn around, and put it away. If the, dish, if the dishes are stored on the same side, I'm always walking around the dishwasher to put it away and then coming back again. I never noticed that about so your kitchen. All my That's kitchens a great have the storage right behind mm -hmm. the dishwashers. And obviously there are, you know, Le Creuset things that you don't use all the time, and that could be in a pantry. But the things I use every day are right behind me in the dish where the dishwashers are. So all I have to do is turn around. That's really interesting. Oh, good. <laughs> I like to surprise you. <laughs> you always do. Um, another thing I have is um, I have a huge basket for all those things that don't fit in drawers, mm -hmm. like sh half sheet pans and racks, baking racks, big cutting boards. You never know what to do with these things. And I have a huge basket at the end of the counter. They all go in there. And when you pull them out, they don't all fall down because exactly. they're all organized they're in the all basket. Just one right after another. Oh, haven't we all tried to pull that sheet out of the bottom of, of, a your, of, your, uh, of your shelf? Of your stack yeah. of sheets. <laughs> exactly, exactly. And then they all come tumbling yeah, out. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> that's the worst feeling in the world. I don't world. think I have anything stacked on anything else. I mean, mm -hmm. I have stacks of bowls, but it's one stack of bowls. Wow. This and they're all the same bowl. Wow, this is like a lifetime of like experience from your personal Simplifying kitchen as it. well as from your all those years you spent in a commercial kitchen in your store. You know, I think it's like a ballerina. I think it's easy to do a lot of pirouettes. It's really hard to do one perfect one. And I think the more confidence I've gotten in designing kitchens and cooking, the simpler my food and my kitchens have gotten. Besides traffic patterns, what are some of the common mistakes you see in people's uh, kitchen designs? A common mistake is not um, following the rule of the triangle. What's that? Uh, the triangle is that the stove, the sink, and the refrigerator have to be in some proximity to each other um, and you don't have to walk around something to get to one of them. Uh -huh. So that if you're, um, I mean I always think about making something. If I'm roasting carrots, I have to go to the refrigerator and get the carrots. Then I have to take them to the sink and wash them. Then I have to chop them up and put them in the stove. So you don't want to travel too far to do that. You want some workspace in between those three pieces of equipment, but um, you want them fairly close so you can almost like twirl mm -hmm. and get it done. Back it, to ballet. Back to ballet. <laughs> <laughs> um, what I've seen when, I'm, when I used to be a caterer and I'd work in other people's kitchens, they looked fantastic, but this, the refrigerator was sunk into a, a wall where you could barely find it. <laughs> there was no counter space next to it. So when you took out the milk to get to the sour cream behind it, you had no place to put the milk down. And then you had to walk all the way around the counter to the stove to put something in the oven. So you want those th three things between the island and the counter space fairly tight. 